you doing, all you guys and gals out there on YouTube land? RG here, Ron's Gear Reviews and Tools. And uh, me and the lovely wife just came back from shopping. She got me some nice chicken wings. And I decided on a nice day like today, sit down and uh, relax, have a beer and chicken wings. Sorry for the background noises, we're close to the street here. And uh, it can get pretty loud at times. All right, here's the chicken wings. Chicken wings are in a big bag. <laughs> All right. They're actually, in a box, chicken wings. That there. Those look nice. Okay, so I usually get the um, salt and vinegar chips. You can see that. that. Some of these look like barbecue. But we have the napkins here. Paper towels. Plenty of them. Do those as needed. Spitch of the hands clean, fingers clean. The glass. Saw the chicken. This is the brew. Boom. Last October. It's an Oktoberfest brew. American style Marlin beer. They had their breweries and they brew their beers in uh, Massachusetts and Vermont. Yeah, Windsor, Vermont. Alright, uh, this is 5.3% alcohol by volume. I think it's 12 IBUs. Don't hold me to that number. Uh, all right, let's get to the pouring stage. I do have my tablet here. Yeah, we got, it's yeah, th oh, correction, not 12, 30. 30 IBUs, international bid units. All right, got that. Grass from Merrimack Ale. It's a brewery up there in Lowell, Massachusetts. Doing some fine stuff. They had their brews. Uh, I mean, my lovely wife went up there and we visited the brewery. Had some ales up there and uh, they gave me the glass. And met the brewmaster and the owner and that uh, was really a nice day. Very nice. Lowell, Massachusetts. All right, this is the brew we just saw. I won't make this a full blown beer review. As I'm sitting here, I want to enjoy some chicken. And oh, it is a Marlin, so it's a little different color than I thought it would be. Mm. That beige head on it. <laughs> See so many brilliant ladies with the white head, white foamy head. Alright, let me uh, give it to this chicken here. Now, this is a chicken tender here. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. The coating on it is tasty, but a little bit too much on it. Like in here, there's a lot of cars going by. Game trucks. No motorcycles yet. They're coming. Mm. It's midweek. Wednesday. Time 
I'm off at the work this morning. I need to go. Go to the day off. Got some chicken and beer. I'm going to do some fine grooves. This is a limited edition here. We got so fresh. Chicken is good. Rome is a real strong lager. Definitely a Mazda style, German style broom. Yeah, I mentioned how they do their brews. It's very traditional of the brew coming out of Munich, Germany. Yes, yeah, very, very strong aromas. To be uh, the noble heart, we'll get that in the flavor. All right, step two. Cheers, the drinking, step two. Oh, that goes down easy. Now, I said step two that uh, before I drank, and the reason I said that is one of the uh, channels I watch on YouTube a lot is a guy that goes uh, camping, basically called stealth camping, hiding in front of the people of the areas where he's camping, doing stealth about. So he has a look at you. This is the river. He's going to be camping. Excuse me. He can talk about me. His name is Steve, Steve Wallace. Stealth camping. And uh, he does it with his neighbor. His crazy neighbor. That's the name of it. Him. And he goes to a lot of odd places for camping. Where are you? Educational in a way. About we can from where we can. It's up in Canada. I think you know, in Alberta. I'm in Alberta. I'm pretty sure in Alberta. Alright. Chicken wing. Mmm. Right away. I can't get a close-up because there's no uh, camera lady. So, just me sitting back. I was going to bring my book out and read it. Meeting them, find a historical book on uh, the program when they landed. The first year and two years afterwards. And the diary is in there inserted. By Mr. Winslow, who was actually living the life then, he came over from England and um, set up in the new colony in Massachusetts. And he wrote a diary about. This chicken is real good. Now, a swig, some H2O, glass of water. 
all the springs, spring water. Mmm, that is good. Oh yeah, spring water. Mmm, absolutely delicious. All right, another chicken wing on the way. So good. It's too long. I'm not even, I'm not even posted because I mean, who wants to see a man sitting down eating chicken wings and talking and drinking a group? I know I probably would, but that's me. Good job on these chicken wings. I think the um, traffic has died out down a little. The chicken tongue, though. Crispy. Said this is a limited edition. Five point three percent alcohol by volume. They do have a nice brewery in Boston. I've been there probably three times. And um, a little too um, not much to wait for. And um, to sit the bar. You know, my wife sat there for a while. And uh, I forget his name now, but he kept uh, bringing his beer, keeping asking me want another beer. Which what do you want? Well, I keep wanting a limited. Well, can't want too many, but but I could drive. But we went around there for a while. Had an excellent collection of beer cans, dating all years. So I spent a lot of time with that, and then I got some tonic, I think um, I got some root beer from the bar. We talked with them. Um, his name was Micah. That was a Micah. I think he was from Ireland. Real nice guy. Been done. Been restless. And we were down looking at. Breakfast, breakfast, talking, eating. Got all the beer can. Said you want any more? <clears throat> you want anything else to drink? We said yeah. Sat down. <laughs> it was a nice day. Mm -hmm. It was a nice, beautiful day here. Sky isn't really blue. It's so many clouds. And it's supposed to be raining right now. How are they going to do this whether it rained or not?
I didn't do any of the apple lagers on my comparisons. And yeah. Uh, I do like their blue, their blue. You to remember, at first, I, I didn't care for their flaggers. It was kind of stringent and strong. Not really like a West Coast. They've changed the recipe since then. They haven't gotten a purchase one in a long time. So, I think it's cool, time is cool. I watched this video on YouTube. It's Alan, a beer reviewer, John and Ellie. And uh, he does dry the beer reviews, but he's in Massachusetts. And uh, he did a review on uh, Burger King's Fiery Nuggets. He did a review, opened it up, and he said, My himself he eats the regular nuggets that the ones that he purchased and was doing a review on fiery excuse me fiery nuggets what even color a little reddish even some peppers dust on it or something and uh so we ate it and, and it's, it's not even hot at all this and that and talking about it and maybe they gave me the regulars so after that ended i went and I've been um, Burger King, Fiery Nuggets, and a bunch of people came up. And yeah, you can see the difference because this actually had sauce on it, hot sauce on it. And, uh, they, and they were talking about how hot it was. And uh, probably five out of six people like them. One girl said they were kind of hard. I will have to try them. So these would be nice if they were hot. Had some hot spice in this too. Mmm. Mmm. Goes down too easy. Now, I want one, one <laughs> question. I was going to say, I'm not going to run this too long. Just be sitting here enjoying this room. It has a nice, nice monkey back on it. Five point three percent alcohol. Seems like I'm picking up on some alcohol. Not picking up on any noble hops. Because it's a Mazen, but it's an American style Mazen. I'm going to get a German beer. I'm going to say we have noble hot sauce. Not necessarily. It's the American style. Mm. Well balanced, well brewed. Not picking up on too much of the hoppiness or Malt in it. It's well brewed. Five point three percent is a nice amount. It's in the ballpark of all the lagers. I think lagers went from four point four to five point five percent. Maybe big. <laughs> I'm 
Right, let me um, end this here. From Eastern Massachusetts. On a very, very nice day. Really an overcast day. The sun is up there, it is bright. It is behind clouds. It had rained last night. It's supposed to rain today. So, but that said, uh, if you want to drink alcohol, be an adult. Be responsible for what you do as an adult. And uh, see you in the next one. Oh, that next from Who Steve Wallace was, which he only has on camp. I think I did. <laughs>